Today, let me quickly talk about the inflation outlook and the worries associated with that here in the US. Before I get started, let me point out that I do have some other videos on the topic of inflation. You can watch those videos by following these links right here. Today, let me start with the Bank of America Merrill Lynch Investor Survey. This is done once a month. In that survey, one of the questions is, what is the biggest tail risk you see for investors? You can see a chart here that goes back to 2011. I recommend that you pause it and take a look at these different events or different concerns. Not surprisingly, over the last year, the coronavirus pandemic has dominated the tail risk category, but this has recently changed to inflation in the survey, but it doesn't stop there. In general, all of the US population is worried about inflation. In fact, if you go to Google Trends, you will see that searches for inflation are at an all time high. We can also go to the University of Michigan Consumer Confidence Survey. Here we see a pretty big movement down here in May. This was led by short-term one-year outlook for inflation and long-term inflation. Now we still are year over year better than we were, but this in May was due to the inflation concern. You can see a long-term chart here. Yes, yes, we're down considerably from where we were pre-pandemic, but we're up considerably from the trough there during the pandemic. And you can see that little spike downward in terms of this inflation scare for consumers. We can also go to you know, the C-suite at S&P 500 companies. Here we see that the number of companies mentioning inflation in a concerned fashion is at an all-time high for the companies having earnings calls in the S&P 500. We also can see that in the news, it's everywhere. Here, here's just a quick little snippet of what I saw today there in the news. Everywhere you look, we see that people are concerned about inflation and it seems to be affecting you know, commodity prices, stocks, et cetera. You can check out the, these headlines here or even go check out the whole articles if you like. Uh, now, so the question is, well, why are we really concerned about this, right? Why do we compare about, or why do we, are we concerned about inflation? Well, it turns out it's kind of like just eroding the value of your money, right? In some ways it's this hidden tax that no one wants. Now, the concern here is that if inflation gets too high, then the Fed or central banks in general are gonna have to step in to slow that, that inflation, which could have an effect on the economy. And given that the economy is somewhat fragile right now, right? we haven't completely gotten ourselves out of this pandemic. We haven't completely recovered. It's still out there. People are still catching it and people are still dying. This is a concern that the Fed will have to act too early in order to affect inflation if it gets out of control. The other way, of course, is that with higher inflation and higher rates, that the stock market declines. Now, let me just say that the, the relationship between interest rates and the stock market aren't as crystal cut as people like to say, especially nowadays, where low rates means high prices and high rates means low prices. That isn't necessarily true. I actually have a number of videos that walk you through a lot of these things. You can check out those videos if you follow these links right here. Well, that's about it. But next time I wanna follow this up with a video on producer prices. There's some interesting dynamics going on there, especially with commodities. Happy trading out there. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm Brian Kozlowski. Thanks so much.